a bruschetta. Yo, what is up, AD Team? Austin Dunn, I'm back again with another video. So today, I'm bringing you guys something new, something different. But before we get into that new and different, let's talk about something that's new and different. A part of my protein, my supplement sponsor that I'm super excited to announce is the new products that they just released. This is a new product that I'm most excited about that I wanna show you guys, and that is the Clearway Isolate with the Mike and Ike collaboration. Mike and Ike is a hard candy. I'm not sure if you ever had it, a sour candy, something like that. But as you see here, we got the original fruit. Mike and Ike Clear Away Isolate. This is strawberry. And what is the Clear Away Isolate? This is a juice protein. Think of it like protein water, but with like a juice type of flavor to it. And it has a texture like water. So we look at the macros, 80 calories per scoop, 20 grams protein, zero carbs and zero fat. So very, very good um, micronutrient type of ratios there. And this one, like I said, the sour cherry. Now I'm, I'm super excited about this because literally, I, I feel like I don't even drink normal whey protein shakes anymore because during the day, I'm always drinking this after my workout and even before bed sometimes. It's just a lot more easier to go down and it's easier on my digestive system, to be honest. Not sure if you guys are having those whey protein farts, you know, bad digestive problems. But if you are, then definitely check out uh, my protein's products. They got more stuff than just this, but use code Austin MYP as a part of this new deal. And definitely check out the new Mike and I Clearway Isolate flavors. So hope you guys are ready to get into this video. We're about to head to the park. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here. I'm here with my friend, Chad. Now, Chad is a guy I've worked out with, um, I would say over the past year or so. And recently, we actually did a little challenge video. We'll play a clip right here for you. So as you see, Chad is really, really strong. You've been training calisthenics like me for around six years, right? Yeah, about six years now. So. Now the thing about Chad is that he has more of a freestyle background and knows a bit more tricks and skills that I actually don't. So in this video, we're gonna teach you four of them with the help of Chad here. We're gonna walk uh, you through them alongside with myself. I'm gonna be getting a little tutorial too. So let's begin with the first one. All right, guys, so the first one is the forward roll. Forward roll, yep. Now, this is something that I never done before, and I did it, or I, I attempted to do it in the horse challenge that we did. And Chad kind of gave me a little tutorial in that video, but right now, we're gonna walk through it, and hopefully, I'm gonna get it in this time. So, go ahead and explain what it is. So, it's called the forward roll. Um, it's also known as a front hip circle in gymnastics. All we're gonna do, we're gonna jump up on the bar, we're gonna go down and around the bar and try to get back onto the bar in a support hold, meaning that we're back on top of the bar. Um, I'll show real quick, so I'm up here. Um, I'll explain what I'm doing in a second, but here goes an example. And I went back on top of the bar. I actually had so much momentum, I almost went over the bar again. Now, there's a couple things that are going on during this skill. Mm -hmm. So when we worked on it last time, you actually were really close because you just dropped your chest immediately and that gives you a lot of momentum. The last thing that you were missing, because I think I remember you almost had like that last little bit of a muscle. You're like, yeah. oh, snaps, I kind of got yeah. it. So the last thing that you're missing is the hand turn around the bar. So when we're doing this skill, there's two hand switches. The first time is when we drop forward, we let our hands come down. And then as we come around the bar, we shift our hands again. And that's pretty much the front hip circle. You just got to be fearless, drop the chest really hard and try to spin your hands twice. Want to try to give it a go? All right. So chest down, drop, and as I'm coming up, spin yes, my hands. Yes, spin your again. hands. Pretend like you're doing a muscle up, like you let your hands glide around the bar. Okay. See if I can do it. So that was really good. Yeah. More momentum, like drop with a little bit more. Mm, Lower. Okay. And then also, yeah, spin the hands just a little bit more. You almost had it on that last little yeah. part, but not bad. You're tucking your body as you turn? Yes, this is kind of important. So 
if you go from a really tall shape so your your body's kind of extended yeah. and you duck down into a smaller shape you're gonna pick up speed or inertia so yeah. that's gonna help give you more momentum so it's good to drop tall and then tuck as fast as you can because that will help you pick up speed which gotcha. is what you, what you kind of want i feel like i wasn't tucking that mm -hmm. much so i'll try that now oh ah. we were kind of close there that, I that feel was, like I just can't so what you really want to make sure is that like when I'm here I'm like kind of going slow but uh -huh. once I get past this threshold that I can feel like gravity is literally gonna pull me down it's duck see I almost had so much speed it's like wait 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 then yeah so Man. you gotta go from that tall shape to that short shape but there's a timing for it so go from tall and then Hey, ah, that was really, I really good. This this time you're like here, so you had your forms. Yeah. Good. So fall with a little bit more oomph. So keep your body tall, and once your head is like right here, really dig in. Try to see. Okay. If that helps a little bit. Good. Man, no hand turn. No hand turn that time. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a boost, uh -huh. which will help you get around the skill. Just make sure you turn your hands. Okay, you see how you were there and you kind of like resisted? Yeah. Let your chest come over the bar. So, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, but you can't. Okay, that time, I good, but you untucked. Yeah. Okay. If you untuck, then you lose all that momentum that you had. Stay in a ball, you're really strong. The worst that's going to happen, you're going to stand yeah. up here like in a chin hole. Yeah. But, um, it's, it's like, a, yeah, it reminds me of like doing a front flip a mm -hmm. little bit, but with support from the bar. So I would say it is kind of like a front flip because uh -huh. when you do front flips, you start with a straight body and then you tuck into it. Yeah. So you use the tuck to speed up your momentum. Um, it's like if you kept your body straight, you'd flip a lot slower, mm -hmm. right? So that's more of like a layout. Um, and that's actually another variation of that role. Like you could yeah. do it with straight body, but that's, yeah. I can't even get that. I can't get the crap all the time. So. Well, I'm going to keep practicing that one, guys. But let's move on to the next one. And this is the next one. I'm probably not going to get, but I don't know, maybe that is the backwards roll. Yeah, the backward roll. Same thing, but backwards, right? Yes, yeah, the same thing, but backwards. So it's also yeah. called a back hip circle. All you got to be able to do is cast. So cast is get your hips off the bar. Just can't be afraid to go backwards. Okay. Most people like to go some, Most people like to go backwards instead of forward. I'm better so, at back flips than I am at front flips. So this might actually help. It might yeah. be a little, might actually help a little bit. All you really have to do is be able to swing your leg. Now, once your legs swing, you notice that my legs start to carry under the bar. You really want to let your legs just keep carrying under the bar yeah. and keep the bar pinned against your hips. As long as you do that, you'll go around the bar. If you go too slow, you'll end up in a pullover and you're really strong to do pullover. Mm -hmm. So we'll go here. One, two, three. And I pretty much did a back hip. Oh. Do small casts at first to feel like your hips like pulling you underneath. Yeah. And then on the last one, let yourself just go with it. Okay. But keep the bar like you're doing a row. So keep it close to my waist. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta let your I'm feet. I'm trying to figure out when is the time that I So go every time your feet come forward, you should feel like the bar is gonna drag you back like yeah. that. And you're kind of resisting that. You gotta go with it. It's literally like once you feel yeah. your feet like ah, yeah. I should have go. That's when you should have. So as my feet fall forward. Yes. Go okay. So every time Feels you so cast, unnatural. yeah, you yeah. gotta just let it, gotta let it go. Okay, I'm just gonna attempt it. Let's see. There you go. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. That was actually uh, close. That was it. I felt way unnatural, but it felt easier than the front row. Easier? I think because I use my pullover shoes. <laughs> yeah. I was cheating a little bit. So you would do the same thing, just more momentum. Yeah. And that would actually be the back hip circle or the backward roll. Okay. Um, just can't be as fearful. Just go, yeah. go, go 100%. That was actually really good. Just do it with more force. You know that you got it. Just yeah. let yourself go. Go, 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 go. Hey, okay. That was smoother. Hey. That was better. That was a lot smoother. That was good. So I would say that's an accomplishment. I say you got that one. That was good. Yeah. That okay. was good. We'll say you got that one. I'm gonna still work on my forward and back <laughs> rolls for sure. There's a technique and practice to it. Keep in mind, first time attempting the backwards roll. Mm -hmm. and I've been doing calisthenics for six plus years. It's crazy. So. All right. The next one we're gonna learn is the bar hop slash transfer. Now this is something I implemented in the horse challenge, and I've never really practiced it, but I understand the fundamental principles of it. And it's good when it comes to freestyle calisthenics. Like you're gonna see it pretty much at every street workout competition you go to. So Chad, take the wheel. So for a bar hop, only thing you really need 
is be the ability to cast. And then from there, pull knees into chest. Bam. And you'll come to the other side, just like that. Really big on the cast, getting your hips off the bar. Uh, but if you can do that already, after that, just get the knees into the chest. That'll give you some momentum you need to get over the bar. This one is actually getting over your fear because you, you might feel fearful that you might clip your feet, mm -hmm. fall over. So it's all about, like I said, the, the first part, getting your hips high and then bringing the feet over. So test it out. Now, that was amazing. That was really, really good. Now, to make it better, what we can do is so to make it easier and to understand the turning around, what I used to do is I used to actually start with a mixed grip. The mixed grip, it actually forces your body to turn a little bit and it actually makes it easier to get back around. So if I'm here okay. and I go one, two, three, pop, all I have to do, makes it, kind of, more sense. it makes it a lot more easy to get a little rotation. And then yeah. of course, once you come to the other side, just make sure you're pushing away from the bar. Uh, as you start to chain more moves, it's easier if you can come to the bar with straight arms rather than really close. Because then if you come close, you're going to get pulled down by gravity if you're on a higher bar or whatnot. So okay. give it a go. See if that helps a little bit. You turn towards your open hand. Okay. Hey, it made it so much easier. It did, yeah. And actually, that was actually perfect. You ended, landed in the same exact spot. That was, that was yeah. good. That was actually really good. Nice. I'm gonna just start doing some freestyle now. Hey, I might, <laughs> might get into freestyle. You never know. Might see me on the 360 muscle up and all that stuff. I, I can 360 muscle up. Yeah. I, okay, so I love freestyle to death. The only thing is that as I've gotten older, I realize that it puts a lot of pressure on my shoulders. Um, I have to make sure my shoulders are warmed up. If my shoulders aren't warmed up, sometimes my shoulders will feel really achy the next day. And I, I'd, I'd rather play the long game rather than the short game. Yeah. Well, so far we've been learning some good foundational basics when it comes to freestyle. So now let's move on to our last one, which is the back uprise. We're going to be doing a back uprise. For this one, you need a bar and you need some space. It is a type of muscle up. There's a lot of different ways to muscle up. You can do normal muscle ups. You can do glide kips, which is more of like bring your feet out. There's the CrossFit muscle up and then there's the back uprise. So back up, I'm gonna kick my feet out, use that momentum to try to get up to the bar. So it should look something like this. Just like that, okay? Now, it is really useful because it's really useful for chaining different skills together. If you already have the back hip circle, you can actually chain this to a back hip circle where you're like, this looks kind of wonky, but that combo a little bit more fluid though but that that's pretty much how you can combine the back up rise with other skills you can either actually do it jump over the bar with a bar hop so there's a different skills that you can combine it with which is yeah, kind of cool but i was telling chad when he showed me this earlier is that it basically reminds me of a kipping muscle up a variation of it so just another way to get on top of the bar mm -hmm. uh the movement pattern i'm not really that familiar with i'm more used to kipping muscle ups but this may or may not be easier depending on your learning process but i'm going to attempt it and see so kick big, out mm -hmm. come in so the biggest thing is that like i said before when we do normal muscle ups or any type of kicking muscle up we're usually kicking to a point and then we're using that like mm -hmm. that kind of a stretch reflex to pull back up to the bar so here we're actually using the momentum of kicking out to bring us high enough to the bar that we can pull ourselves to the bar. Okay. So it's almost like kick out, let myself swing, swing, swing. Once I feel like high enough, I'm gonna do pretty much do a straight arm lat pull. Okay, gotcha. Wait, let your feet swing back. And then as you come up, that would've been the point to like pull up to the oh, bar. Right there, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was actually a really good clean black kip. Oh. <laughs> that was actually a really clean black kip. <laughs> I'm, I'm all, He's like, I'm just gonna do muscle ups. <laughs> I'm also really strong too, the muscle ups, so mm -hmm. I might be using a little bit of strength power in there too. So you you almost had it the first time you got kicked out and there was uh -huh. like that point of like almost like weightlessness. You could have pulled yourself to the bar right there. Mm -hmm. um, you might have been a little low and you might have came back down, yeah. but that was actually pretty close. Okay. So just try a little bit more kick out, trust the kick out more and let your feet just carry a little bit more. Okay. But still pull down oh. once you get up there. Go. Oh, that was kind of close. Uh, just like early, it, you were just yeah. early on the pull. I feel like that was a kipping muscle. <laughs> that was a kipping muscle. Yeah. It's hard for me to deter the difference between a kipping muscle up and that one. Mm. Honestly, like the movement pattern feels very, very similar to me. 
So, so yeah, like I said, it's all just timing and just learning to use momentum. Yeah. A lot of the skills, like the forward roll, the backward roll, is timing, momentum, like dropping around the bar and then tucking in at a certain time. Yeah. That really, it's technique. You just exactly. do it enough times, it's like, oh, I got it. Yep. Mm, you can get it a lot faster than doing reps and sets like handstand push-ups or mm -hmm. static holds. Exactly. Like, when it comes to anything with te technical practice, the more you do it, obviously, the better you're going to get at it. If I wanted to actually learn these skills, I would probably do it either after my workout or before, maybe. Just a few steps, just trying to practice the technique. I feel like I can get it within a, a week or two, especially the forward and backward roll. So if you learned something from this video, definitely subscribe, like the video, and definitely be sure to check out Chad because he's super, super knowledgeable on calisthenics and go support him, guys. So I'll leave his information down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.